Today, I've done this study, and I'm going to share with you who I believe the false Christ is. Now, I believe, and by scriptures that the Holy Spirit has given to me, I believe that the false Christ is Adam, the first Adam. It cannot be any other man. He would be the original man of sin. It started with Adam, and it will end with Adam. Both Adams, the first Adam and the last Adam. Now, Adam was the Zion, the habitation of God. Psalms 132 and verses 13. God chose Zion. He didn't choose a building. He didn't choose a mountain. He chose a body. Jesus calls himself the Son of Man. In Genesis 3 and 15, God said to the woman that she would be given a seed. This would be the deliverer. Now, God took that seed from Adam while Adam was still in paradise before he fell. God had to take that good seed before the devil sowed the tares. When Adam was without spot, blemish, or wrinkle, that's why Jesus calls himself the Son of Man. Because he is the last Adam. 1 Corinthians 15 and 45. Now, Adam was crowned with glory and honor. Psalms 8, chapter 8 and verse 4. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 8. He was crowned with glory. Proverbs 16 and 31 says that crown of glory is the white head. We see in Revelations 1 and 14, Jesus also bears that image. Now, and it also shows them being the ancient of days. Adam was in heaven, the third heaven. 2 Corinthians 12, verses 2 and 3. Second Peter chapter 3 and 5 says, that By the word of God, the heavens were owed. Now Daniel 7 and 9 says, The thrones were cast down and the ancients of days did sit. Psalms uh, chapter 89, verses 38, 39, and all the way to 44 we see that God was angry with his anointed. Uh, he profaned his crown by casting it to the ground. Adam was cast out. Uh, God made his glory to cease and casting his throne to the ground. Job 19 and 9 and Daniel 7 and 11, uh, the beast's body will be destroyed. Why is God destroying the beast's body? Because it is the image of God. That's what Adam was created to be. He was created in the image of God. We are not in the image of God because we are in the fallen state. We won't be the image of God until our bodies is changed like the body of Jesus Christ. Now Hebrews chapter 1 and 8 says, Unto the Son, listen to this church, he's talking to the Son. He said, Unto the Son, he saith, Thy throne, O God. You see, he's calling the Son God. He said unto the Son, he saith, Thy throne, O God. Luke 3 and 38, Adam once was the Son of God. John chapter 10, verse 34, Jesus said, It's written in your law. Ye are God's. Now in Hebrews 1 and 6, the angels are told to worship man. Job 24 and 13, we see they rebel against the light. Hebrews 2 and 9 says, Man was made a little lower than the angels, but he was crowned with glory. They're not going to worship this man because this man was created lower than them. And they're told to bow down and worship him. Now in Psalms 82 and 6, this is why the devil's trying to kill us. Because he knows that we will be like God. When we put off this body, put on that new body, then we will be like God. The fullness of God will be inside of us. And that's why the devil is trying to stop all of us. You see, he hates us, friends. He does not want us to ascend. The Holy Spirit said to me one day, he said, Donna, if you knew that someone was going to come and they were in the end, they were going to have all kinds of power and all authority over you, but you could go back in time and kill them while they were a baby, wouldn't you do that? 
He said, that is what the devil is trying to do. He is trying to kill all of us while we are in our baby state to keep us from ascending. That's why this false cross is coming and uh, wanting you to bow down because I promise you that mark is not the only thing that will keep you out of heaven. You're going to have to bow down and worship Him. You're going to have to do some denying and probably blaspheming against the Holy Ghost because the, Jesus tells us that blasphemy against Him and against the Father will be forgiven, but not blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. So we see that taking that mark, there's going to be more added to just that mark because we know God is merciful. Okay, when Jesus rose from the grave, He was changed. 1 Corinthians 15, 35 through 44 says this in fifteen thirty-seven: That which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body that shall be. Jesus is the sower. He sowed His body in the ground. Luke 8 and 11 says the seed is the Word. John 1 and 14, the Word became flesh. Jesus is the Word. He is the seed. He is the sower. He sowed that body. But when He rose from the grave, that body was changed. Adam showed God that he loved his flesh more than he did God. Because Hebrews 5 and 4 said it is impossible for those that were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gifts and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. If they fall away, there is no place for them of repentance. Revelations 12 and 8, we see that the angels that sinned and the devil, there was no place found for them because there is no place for them to repent. Because you see, we have never had what they had. We have never saw what they saw. We have never been where they are. We walk by faith. They walk by sight. They could see Him. They saw His kingdom, the working of His kingdom. And the Holy Spirit was telling me when this false cross comes, He's going to reveal things in heaven. He's going to try to deceive the world into telling you that you don't want to be a part of that because that oneness is a one consciousness of one mind, that you no longer will be individuals, that you no longer can think your own thoughts and do your own thing, that you'll do what God wants you to be. And I'm going to tell you what the Holy Spirit said to me. He said, this is true, Donna, that you all will be one mind, one soul, and one spirit. He said, but here is the choice. You can choose to ascend up into heaven and to have the fullness of God. And God created a kingdom for you. Or you can choose hell. The Holy Spirit said there is no in-between. It's either you ascend into heaven and be what God created you to be from the foundation of the world. Or you can go into hell and have that uh, being an individual because each day I promise you that flesh of yours will burn and the worms will eat on it daily and it will take a thousand years of them eating on your flesh and at the end of that thousand years that flesh will come back on them bones again and it will all start all over again and that's what it will be like in hell and you'll remember every day because there'll be day and night you'll be able to know how many days and years you have been in this place of torment where your body is rotten and, and decaying every day and the flames of fire you'll feel every bit of it now in the book of revelations 5 and 5 we see the line of the tribe of judah psalms 114 and 2 said judah was his sanctuary Ezekiel 28 and 13 and 4, we see that false god has a priestly garment on and he was anointed. Ezekiel 28 and 18, God says to him, Thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries by the multitude of thy sins. Adam was the sanctuary of God. He was the church. 
Genesis chapter 2, verses 23 and 24, and Ephesians 5, 27 and 31. This is the sanctuary of God, the church. And we see that Jesus is establishing everything that God established in the beginning and that Adam fell short of completing it. I hope that I was able to bring that word to you. I have more than this to say, but my time is short. But I would like to thank you all for watching my videos. And may God bless each and every one of you. And I thank you for all those that have left me messages standing together with me in this amazing gospel. God bless you all.